Bismillah. So we just finished uh, how to control the Arduino uh, using the manual mode, using C programming only. And now we are at on off control, how to program the Arduino uh, to control the light loop through on off mode. So uh, my, my loop, it's exactly the same. Now the R1 would represent my set point. I'll choose my set point through changing the value of R1. And uh, if you remember this slide from uh, the videos before, uh, this is to show the difference between on-off with without hysteresis and on-off with hysteresis and why do I need hysteresis. So this is just a reminder. If you want more explanation, go back to, to the video in Simulink. Now let's take a look at the code. Uh, it's exactly the same. Uh, I'm defining the, the sensor, uh, analog on put one, and my uh, potentiometer, which is the, the will be the set point at analog on put five. My actuator is still at 11. My process value is zero, set point. Now we change in the previous video in manual, we called it input. Now we can call it really set point. My control output and uh, hysteresis, the value of the hysteresis. Uh, the same exact setup. Now in the loop function, uh, I'm having the PV process value reading the value from the sensor, which is my LDR. My set point is reading the value through my potentiometer. And this is the real code for on off. It's really easy. If my PV is lower or equal to set point minus hysteresis, then my output is 255. Else, if my PV is higher than the set point plus hysteresis, my C out is zero. That's it. This is the the the, the on off. And remember, I'm using uh, the analog input uh, output just not to change my my hardware setup. Uh, I can use a digital input to do this. So a digital input, if it is if this is true, then the digital uh, output is one, and if it is false, then it is zero. And then I will write, I write this value uh, to my actuator and just having some serial print. So just a reminder, we can see it even in the PowerPoint. If I'm having lower than set point minus hysteresis, I want the, the output to be on so that I can drive, uh, the, increase the light intensity. Once it's beyond set point plus hysteresis, I'll turn it off. Once it's below this, I'll turn it on, and so on and so forth. So, back to the uh, to the circuit. Now, let me start the serial monitor, and let's see the set point. I'll change my set point, and you can see the light intensity and how the PV is changing. So as we said previously, you will never reach your set point. It's either higher or lower. So it's a flashing and you can see the frequency of flashing change when I change my set point. So if I increase my set point and remember, I can't go beyond 900. Uh, if I choose 900, I'll get a uh, fully on exactly as I expected, and I can go below 200 something. If I go below that, I will my, my light will be off fully, and in between, it will flash either fully on or fully off. So, this is now, it's a flashing. Let's see what happened if I change the hysteresis. Remember, I have the hysteresis as 30. Let's see, what if I put it as a 10? and I'll upload. So, take a guess. What will happen to the frequency of flashing? Will increase or decrease? Let's start the serial monitor. And as you guessed, the frequency is really increasing. I'll put it back to 30 to see the difference. Or let's choose 40. Start serial monitor and see it's less the frequency. It's the same set point. I didn't change the set point. The only thing I change is the hysteresis. So this is about on off control. 
Next, we'll deal with uh, P-Control in C programming.